For the longest time, there has been divide uh, between the policy community and the researchers in terms of accepting the, the gravity of the problem. To develop any kind of a credible policy action, you need to know the contribution of the different sources of pollution, number one. And second, the location of these sources of pollution. Many of you will be surprised to know that 70% of the pollution within Delhi is generated from sources outside there. And that is where I think the, the, the classic uh, failure of policy making comes in. Because the stress is that let's just have one city because Delhi is where the attention is. Uh, the entire conversation is around Delhi and Delhi's pollution and what is it that Delhi government should be doing. But when you start looking at satellite data, you see that Delhi is not even amongst the top 10 polluted cities in North India. Delhi today is the only state in, in the entire northern India and probably all over India which has shut down all its thermal power plants. We used to have two very polluting thermal power plants and we decided to shut them down even if it means buying costly electricity from a slightly farther distance. Uh, that action was taken. In the case of crop stubble burning, uh, we collaborated with the IARI, the PUSA Institute, to come up with a uh, Pusa biodecomposer solution which can be sprayed on this crop stubble and within 15 days uh, you know it, it uh, disaggregates, it decomposes and it, it uh, becomes part of the soil and Delhi government provided this service free of charge at the doorstep of the farmers they didn't have to pay a single penny. We know transport is a huge area which contributes to both local as well as regional pollution. Close to a third of uh, our pollution comes from the transport sector. This is where I'm very happy to share that yet another collaboration, uh, you know, with researcher in this case, uh, with IIIT Delhi. Uh, last year, we set up a center for sustainable mobility. This was an initiative funded by the Delhi government and the center has now been established. And the entire idea here is to develop solutions that can help Delhi's mobility systems to transition into becoming one of the most sustainable transport systems in the world. Electric vehicles, let me come to it and speak for a minute because, you know, we need to, of course, you know, there are short term solutions, we can shut things down, we can do odd even and they all help in the short term, but the long term solution needs to be clear and, and we need to move, the entire world is moving to zero emissions vehicles, which are electric vehicles. Uh, around one and a half years back, Delhi government came with a very progressive electric vehicle policy. Today, Delhi is leading the entire country. Thanks, uh, you know, riding on the foundation of this policy and various aspects of the policy where, you know, we are giving subsidies, we are facilitating setting up of charging infrastructure, uh, we are reaching out to people, generating awareness. We come to greenery. Since 2001, the green cover in Delhi has doubled. I'm not sure how many states can claim that. But in Delhi, in the last 20 years, our green cover has doubled and today it is around 4,600 acres. But to be frank, I think when it comes to climate action, uh, we are still at an initial step, probably where we were 10 or 15 years back on the air pollution issue. Because I think one of the biggest uh, handicaps we have is that we do not have a carbon inventory that can lay the basis for a, a, a long-term carbon action plan. So uh, this, is, this is broadly what I wanted to share. I congratulate IIIT Delhi for organizing a conference on uh, such a timely and important topic and uh, as Delhi government we are always open to ideas from uh, IIIT Delhi, from researchers, from students uh, as to what is it that the Delhi government can do to act upon this uh, grave issue of climate. Thank you very much.